What do you think about the old Scruffy crew? Huh? They, they having a cat war over there. You got anything to say, kitty kitty? Huh? No? Is that what you would do? You run up on them like that? You get them? Huh? Your old mean cat. Let's go over here and show what Teresa's been doing. Alright. What you got going on? I'm finishing up this uh, blanket that I'm making for my daughter-in-law. Our daughter-in-law. It's uh, called a chunky blanket. That thing is thick. Yeah, it is very soft. It is the softest blanket I've ever felt. This yarn is different mm. than the, the ones that she showed in the video from our early Christmas, so... It feels like rabbit fur. It's so soft. It's got wool in it, I think. So anyway. Show us how you do it. Um, I watched videos online. Look how big this yarn is. On how to make the chunky blankets. And this is the one I'm using. It's kind of pricey. But uh, it's this one that I got at Hobby Lobby. But you can get the you can get yarn at Walmart cheaper. And I think that's what I'm going to go with the next, if I make any more. Okay. Because, uh. These were a little pricey, but they were worth it because they were Christmas presents, and our youngest daughter's been asking me to make her one. So, so I'm going to do it, and this is very frail. I'm going to wash it afterwards, and hopefully it'll settle it down a little bit, and it won't be so... Uh, frizzing? Yeah, frizzing. So you just start it off like this, and you're going to make a chain, and... Uh, I'm just doing, it's like, it's like, um, knitting, but you do it with your hand. And so you're just going to make your, a chain of however many. Start it off. You cut the excess off on the back? Or? Yeah, later I will. I'll connect it in. It's here. It's right here on this one. I'll, I'll run it through here and tie it. Okay. So... So anyway, you're going to make a chain, and I'm just going to do a few and show you. This one, I believe I did like 25 chains. 25 you, uh, links? Chains, yeah, right here. This is the top of it. It does kind of look like a chain. Okay. And then, you can make it bigger, but I'm just making these for throw blankets. So you just make a loop? Mm-hmm. And, and loop in chain. another loop. Mm -hmm. And you just keep going until you get the length that you want. And then you're going to turn it here. And uh, bring this down. When you get the length you want. This a bit. Giving you a little bit of trouble, isn't it? Mm -hmm. now, this is a different stitch I'm doing. I'm flipping it back and forth. You don't have to do that. You can leave it as is and just keep going back and forth. Okay, so you're going to bring this chain down here like this. That one. Mm -hmm. You're going to bring this up underneath here. Now I'm going to catch this one on the next one when I come back. So each... I didn't see that. Your hand was... Let me get in front of you. Your hand was running in the way of that loop. Okay. So you're going to bring it down and this is going to be on the outside. And you're going to bring it to your next one. Like this. Oh, I see. What and you're then doing. each chain. See, here's one, two, three, four. And here's the fifth one. Okay. okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring it up through here. Bring it down. Like this one here, like this. And then you just keep going through each chain. Bring it. Okay. And same thing here. And here. And then what you'll do is 
two, three, four, five. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to start on your next row and you're just going to bring it through like that. Mm -hmm. just... You can use any chunky uh, yarn. It doesn't have to be this one. It can be any of the chunky yarns. I think Walmart has like a Chanel where it's a little easier for care as well. You can wash and dry it. It almost looks like a towel material to me, but it's a yarn. The one at Walmart? Yeah, it's a chenille. It's called chenille. Okay, so here we go. And then fix that a little bit. The little hole's going to be, this thing is bigger there. So on the next one, On the next one, you'll put it in the that hole. You're gonna put it in in this the first hole that we didn't put anything in. Okay. You turn your always take your your yarn down the direction you're working. Okay. Okay. And then I just what I do is so here we go. See. So we're gonna start on our next row. So you're gonna bring this back behind here, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. And then this one. This one. And this one. It uses up fast, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I kind of push them up a little bit. I don't like them real, real loose, but you can do that. And you just keep going until you get to the end. And when you get to the end of however big you want it, you're going to bring it down here. I'm going to go one more time and I'll stop over there. Okay. That's too big. Pull it through. Bring it down. I'm going to pull it through. Sometimes they want to twist. I always fix it where it's straight. Then when you get down here and you want to finish it. Okay, see? Mm-hmm. You're going to take it. <coughs> and you're going to... I'm going to try to remember how to do this. You're going to put this through here. And then that's laying there. And then you'll take this one and put this one through here. And bring this one up. Do the same thing here. Put it through. Put it through. And that seals it off. Oh, nice. And then what you'll do is with this one, you're going to... I see, I see a lot of ladies sew them. Or you can connect them with your yarn you know you can even weave this down in there probably like weave this down or uh, take some of your yarn and just connect it to the end piece mm -hmm. to close it off yeah okay. just connect it with the tie it well there y'all go That's look it. at that she made that much of a blanket and just this yeah, Less than five minutes. So this one is this big now. I've been working on it for a little bit, but this has just been when I have time. That ought to keep somebody warm. Uh -oh. This is how big it is so far. This is for the baby? No, this is from uh, my daughter-in-law. Our daughter-in-law, okay. Lauren. See? Yeah, that's nice. So far. And then if you pick it up, it's, it's even bigger. So. Oh, yeah. Man, that would it's make beautiful. a cool sweater. It's very soft and it's yeah, y'all, y'all can't. I can't tell you how soft this is right now. So this is my uh, 
let's see, one, two, this, this is number three, four, and I have a baby one that I'm making in the car. Oh, nice. Let me go get it and I'll show it to you. So, All right, we'll pause this for just a second. All right, this is the baby blanket you're making. Yeah. It looks soft, too. It's not going to be very big. I already made her a big one, so <clears throat> that would be number six of I made. So You pump one of these out in just a few hours. Yeah, this one will be done pretty soon. It's not gonna... I just made this so that when she's breastfeeding, she can kind of lay it over her. It's so is this, uh, this looks like the same? It's the same stitch. Same stitch, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I like the colors. So, this is a, this one I got from Walmart, and this was four of these big ones. I can't remember the name of it, but it, it's, I got this one, at, this color at Walmart. So. Okay. Yeah, that's it. It's not going to be very much bigger, but maybe about, maybe five to ten more lines, and I'll be done. Okay. So it's not going to be very big. All right. That's it. All right, that's guys. That's what I've been doing. Y'all tell, let us know in the comments what you think. If you want her to teach y'all how to do something else, because she does use the stitching needles. Or what do you call those things? Yeah, but I'm not good at crocheting. Crocheting? <laughs> I'm not a good teacher on crocheting. I just do a, a simple stitch, and I don't do nothing. I don't follow the directions. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all take it easy. Have a good night. Tell everybody good night. Good night. <laughs> Bye.